Hi there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my new series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so that you can look at this playlist and pick and choose which subjects interest you the most. Or you can start at one and just go to 25. They're all between three and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should do the trick. Note that if you're a longtime user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find this as interesting because I'm aiming these tips at brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and I hope that you will learn something new. Now today we are going to talk about the Dice Tower and I'm going to turn off the Dice Tower for now so that I can start at the beginning. Okay. Dice towers off. So let me rearrange my dice so they're back where they should be. So I don't have anybody on the table, but um, we're going to just be talking about dice towers, so we don't really need anybody on the table for that. But uh, to turn on the dice tower, should you wish to use it, you would go to table, dice tower, turn it on. And for the DM to see the dice tower, you need to also show GM rules. So we turn that on. Now, let's talk about why do we have a dice tower? What is a dice tower? A dice tower is a means for a DM to hide the rules from his players, his or her players. And um, you can see that as a DM, I have the dice tower turned on and I have my rolls turned on. So anything I roll in the window will be shown to the players. Anything that I roll in the dice tower will not be shown to the players. But on the, on the other end of the spectrum, if we have our player and we ask them to do a arcana check, Okay, so we ask Alyssa to do an arcana check. She is going to take her dice and she is going to drag it down to the dice tower and see how her check goes. And now she won't know how her check goes because she can't see this. Only the DM can see it. And it helps with your narrative. You can know if you could say, this is an excellent role. So she's going to learn all that she can about what she was asking. But if she made a bad roll, you would say, like, you, you don't know really too much about that, you know. And she wouldn't know if it's that she didn't roll well or maybe there wasn't anything to know about that particular item. So that is why we use the dice tower. And if you want to use the dice tower, you would turn it on like I showed you. And... Keep in mind that uh, any rolls that you roll, you're going to have to roll them in the dice tower. Otherwise, the players will see everything that you're doing. So I hope that this tip was helpful to you. I hope you'll continue to watch the rest of the tips in my series. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.